This is a panic attack, guys. It's not always shaking and hyperventilating. This is sometimes what it is. Good morning, world. Good morning, internet friends. Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Anxiety when sleep is not your friend. We've been adding on to the list all day today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. Um, I woke up in a good mood and then my mood's just starting to go down. Just having feelings of like, I don't know, just depressive feelings of like, you look ugly today. The outfit you're choosing for today looks terrible. You just, you're worthless and all this crap. And I'm just like, great. It's one of those mornings because sometimes that happens where you wake up and your brain is just like, let's tell every negative thing humanly possible, which sucks. But I mean, that's just how it works, unfortunately. Um, especially with anxiety and depression, your brain is, is like negatively wired. So it is purposely designed itself to only tell you negative things. And that's really irritating because you already feel like crap enough. Sorry, I have a hair that's like stuck to my eyeball. Did I get it? I think I got it. Yay. So yeah, now I'm about to get dressed for the day and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, so I'm not doing too great right now. Um, defining animal behavior, partway through animal physiology, I started having a really severe panic attack just out of nowhere. And it's at the point where I mentally just cannot handle going to lab, so I'm not going. And um, I let my professor know, I gave him my hard copy of my lab. He wants me to come back and explain my anxiety to him when I feel better, which I think is perfectly fine. I have to meet up with a lab partner to do my part of the lab, which is also fine, but just, I'm not, I'm not feeling good at all. Just heart's racing, feeling like I'm gonna cry, sweating. Mentally, I don't think I can handle being in a lab. I don't think I can handle being outside my dorm for a while, so. I'm not doing good. That's basically all that is, is not feeling good at all. This is a panic attack, guys. It's not always shaking and hyperventilating. This is sometimes what it is. It's just a lot of thoughts and some, and some physical manifestations and you just can't handle it. So now I'm just gonna go attempt to relax and maybe get my force myself to eat something and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, so right now I am posting pictures to my Close Enough Cosplay Facebook page because apparently a lot of the photo shoot pictures I completely forgot to upload and I need one of them to make a comparison to my old Edward cosplay. And right now for some reason I'm experiencing a lot of anxiety. I saw one girl on my Facebook, she got an I'm graduating sticker and I feel like I missed, I'm missing out on something because I'm graduating too. So I'm just like, what did I miss? What did I, is there something I needed to know about? What did I miss? And I'm just like, Ugh. um, panic attack has subsided from earlier though. Who knows? One might just come up all over again. Um, I emailed my professor because I want to meet with him to talk about my anxiety, but none of his office hours will work, will work with me. And on Mondays and Fridays, he's off campus. I'm going to see if there's a way I can set up a meeting time with him and just, you know, just see what happens. Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to say. Don't you love it when, like, mental illness screws with you so much that you just can't remember? Oh, yeah, it was about YouTube. I had to do this YouTube survey thing. And... One of the main things I feel I got out of it was, like, does YouTube serve everybody? I don't think it does. For smaller channels, no. It's for the bigger ones. I'm not going to name them off because I don't want to sound mean. I mean, I love the bigger channels, obviously, but you know that's where YouTube caters to the most. And there was one question that was like, are you inspired to create content because of the YouTube Play Button Award? And I said, no, of course I'm not. I don't care if I never get that award ever. And I know, I'm pretty sure I never will. The reason I create what I do is for you guys. To show you life with anxiety, life with mental illness. And you guys, you know, pretty much a lot of people understand it. 
because mental illness freaking sucks guys and it's also why I make content I make content for close enough cosplay because I just love to do it I make content for psych to go because it's educational and I loved I just love make working and doing YouTube stuff I love making videos so I don't even do it for the money I don't do it I mean I don't really make any money off of it anyway I don't do it for the YouTube buttons I do it to educate you guys and because it's my passion so if you ever question me on what my intentions are with YouTube it's because it's what I love and because I love educating you guys because I love you each and every one of you you're not a number to me you are a person so hold on let me give a group hug to everybody one two three group hug group hug Luckily, I'm just in my room because if anybody saw that, they would just assume that I'm just some weird chick hugging a camera. <laughs> so, there's life for you. Oh yeah, now I'm going to finish getting some photos uploaded. And then, as you can see back there, I need to get laundry put away. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys. So this light makes me look orange too. Dang it, I cannot get away from orange lights. Oh well. So, um, what all has happened? I don't know, I'm getting really tired. I think the clonazepam's finally kicking in. So I got laundry done. I also had a little dancing and singing session because I just like to sing and dance while doing stuff because I'm a weirdo. And got stuff posted for Close Enough Cosplay. Um, I showed a picture of my very first costume. It's Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. And I know not everybody knows who that is, but that's okay. I posted a picture of him from like one of the first times I played him, which was in 2010, compared to the recent photo shoot in 2016. And oh my gosh, he has changed drastically. I think the gloves are the only thing that have remained through those six years. Everything else is different. The top is different. I don't have a jacket right now. I have an arm. The wig's different. The pants are different. The boots are different. Everything is different about him. And he looks awesome and I love him to death. But I was also looking through some of my old vlogs and looking at videos with Riddler and Sassy. Because I really do miss Riddler and Sassy. I miss their presence. I miss having a dog. Another reason why I'm hoping to get an ESA. Um, but now is the time where I sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is for this upcoming video. Would you like me to tell the story of my life or draw it out? Because I've wanted to tell you guys my life story, but I mean, do you want to just hear me talk about it or do you want me to attempt to draw it? Because I suck at drawing so bad, but I mean, if it's what you want, I'll do it. So just leave your choices down below and I'll see you tomorrow.